everybody, my name is Eternity Farrell with Jimra coming at you today with a 30 minute strength workout using dumbbells with a little bit of cardio thrown in there as well. It's gonna be a five minute warm up, 22 unique exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off with a three minute cool down. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the warm up. We are gonna start with a 45 second jumping jack and three, two, one, let's go. So, we're just bringing awareness to our bodies, bringing heat, some movement, getting ourselves ready. It's just the warm up, we're just getting started. Very nice, gotta keep it up. So, today's workout is gonna be unique exercises. So everything we're doing today is repeated only one time and one time only. So make everything you do today count, all out efforts. Very nice. All right, you guys, we are down to our final five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. All right, you guys, go ahead. Let's take a wide stance. We're going to shift ourselves side to side to open up those hips, lengthen through our hamstrings. Think that you're hinging here. So pressing that back hip into your heel, opening it up side to side. Let's go for five. Nice. Four, chest up. Three, two, and one. All right, take a wide stance. Let's go shoulder circles. One, two, we're gonna go for 10 each direction. Three, five, six, big and wide, open them up. Two, and one. We're gonna go forward with it. Here we go, 10. No matter what time of day it is, whether it's you're starting your day, midday or evening, thank you for joining me. Make this 30 minutes all about you and feeling good and feeling accomplished. Three, two, and one. All right, now, arms out in front of you. We're gonna pull back and squeeze, pinching our shoulder blades down and back like you're trying to squeeze a piece of pencil between them. Here we go, we got 15 and one. Exhale as you pull. Three, perfect, four, Keep it up, five, six, nice, seven, eight, beautiful. And really think about the lats, those big muscles on your back. As you pull and squeeze, feel yourself contracting them, visualize the muscle itself. So really think about recruiting it for one more. Beautiful, we're gonna go right into some hinges. So think about folding, those hips back, lengthening those hamstrings up through your heels, squeezing that touch. We have 10 and three, two, one. Let's hit it. So hamstrings, again, visualizing really helps here, you guys. Really think about which muscles you're trying to strengthen and lengthen through this. So hamstrings, glutes, core, some calf work in there possibly, depending if you're tight in those areas. Let's keep it going. Give me five. Up, there's no race here. Four, up, let's go. Three, <sighs> nice. One more. Right into 10 squats, let's go. One, up, two, good. Nice and low. Goal, let's get those thighs parallel to the ground. We got five, up, good. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go into reverse lunges. 10 and 10 with a high knee in three, two, one. Right side, let's go. Down, drive it up. Drive it up, two. Look at my core, look at my stability. Nice, four, five, seven, nice. Eight, last two, nine, and 10. All right, left side, let's go. Down, yes. Two, very good. Three, four, nice. Five, six, final three. Three, two, and one. All right, you guys, we're gonna end now. 45 seconds, jumping jack, three, two, one. Finishing it out. One. 
Okay, so by now, you should be feeling yourself really heating up, warm, ready to move. For today, I'm gonna to be using five pound dumbbells, but use whatever way feels challenging and appropriate for you. Not a competition. This is about you, your workout, and feeling good. Nice work, you guys. 15 seconds. Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and done. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into our first exercise. It is going to be a squat with a pulse. So weight up on the shoulders in three, two, one. Here we go. Down, pulse, up. Nice. Pulse, up. So for the weights here, I'm just resting them on my shoulders in a front squat positioning. It can be held goblet as well. It can be back weighted. It can be body weight. So whatever feels comfortable for you. Make it a challenge though. We're here to get stronger. Very nice. Keep it up. <sighs> Inhale and then exhale, press. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Don't stop now. <sighs> nice, three, two, and one. 15 seconds off. Up next, we're gonna go into a row and reverse fly. So we're gonna hinge it over, row, reverse fly to row. And three, two, one. Let's hit it up. So you're out and down. Good. Out and row. Out and row. A slight elbow bend, you guys. Those arms are not locked out. Squeezing lats down and back. Similar to the warm up with a row. You're pinching your shoulder blades together. This is a back movement. We love a sexy back. Like Justin Timberlake once said. <laughs> All right, you guys, keep it up. You're doing amazing. <sighs> Breathe through it. Control. A light weight is probably best for these guys. Listen to your body. Let's go. Three, two, one, and you're done. All right, we're gonna put these down. Up next, we're gonna do a little cardio hit. We're gonna go high knee, just like this. Shuffle in place for 45 seconds. Deep breath into yourself. We're gonna get going here in three, two, one. Let's go. So you're just doing this. Just keeping it up. If the high knee component is hard for you, then just give me fast feet, minimal movement. The point here is that we're just continuously moving our bodies right now. Nice. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up. Up next, we're going back to a strength movement. So, cardio hit right now. Focused, let's do this. Yes, tight core. Use your arms to propel yourself, to pump yourself. It's gonna help create the momentum. Nice. Three, two, done. All right, you guys, up next, we're going to alternating pendulum lunges, which is a reverse lunge right into, the right, uh, right into a forward lunge. One to one, alternating right to left. Deep breath in three, two, one. Right side. Reverse lunge, right to that forward lunge. And we're alternating. Get it, get it nice. Back to the other side. Reverse into forward. Yes. Plant that toe. Lift your body straight down. Forward from the side view. Think 90 90 those knees. A slight hinge to keep that weight in your heel. Other side, down, center, forward, and back. Let's keep it going. For this one, I think this, the weights down the side is easiest. Either that or a bit or back weighted. Nice, three, two, one, and we're resting. Up next, we're gonna do what's called a T raise. We're gonna bring our weights in front of us, up, Open to a T, slight elbow bend, back center and down. We're gonna rep that out. All right, you guys, three, two, one. Let's do it. So you're up, you're out, you're in, you're down. Shoulders are gonna roll down and back. Don't let them hike up. Keep the pressure off of your neck. Keep the resistance in your shoulders. That's where we're sculpting, baby. Nice. 
And again, a slight elbow bend is helpful here so that you're not locking it out. And we're just gonna wrap it out. Embrace it. Beautiful. And if it gets to be too much, take a second, shake it out, roll it out, and get right back in. Nice. Nice. And up, out, three, two, and one. Done. All right, up next, a little cardio hit. We're just going to shuffle to the side, bring it down. Shuffle to the side, bring it down. As big as you would like or as small as you'd like. So deep breath in three, two, one. Let's go. Shuffle, down, shuffle, down. As you come down, we're dropping those hips, we're keeping our back flat, we're pressing our hips back, so we're lengthening that spine and not letting it curl. Form here. Nice. Heart rate's gonna come up, you guys. Let's keep it going. Nice. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Breathing through it. Three, two, and recover. Deep breath, towel off, water if you need. Grabbing our weights again. Up next, we're gonna go squat to deadlift, one to one. All right, you guys, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So, you're squatting and then deadlifting. So, hips down and back, hips down and back. But note, knees track forward, Hips track back. Think quad. Think hamstring glute. Keep it going, guys. Nice. Yes, beautiful, focused. Nice, squat. Up, deadlift. Up, nice. Squat. Last deadlift. Time's up. Recovery. Up next, we're gonna go high row, lateral raise, one to one. Take that recovery. Let your heart rate come down because it's gonna be over in three, two, one. Let's do it. So, driving those elbows up and up, rolling those shoulder blades down and back. Then out to the side. Good. High row. Bring it down. Out. Bring it down, nice. Good. I hope your day is wonderful today. Here it is 85 degrees, no complaints. Let's keep it going, you guys. Think about what brings you here today. What's motivating you to get through this? That right there is gonna power you through. Don't forget your why. It's a self-love in its most purest form. Three, two, and rest. All right, weight's gonna come down. All right, guys, we have now a butt kick coming up next. So just kicking towards the cheeks for 45 seconds. Get ready, three, two, one, here we go. So it's going to kick, kick. And again here, we're just focusing in on that heart rate elevation that's sustaining that heart rate elevation. Very good. And like before, pump those arms. It helps that momentum, it engages your core, gives you better power and sustainability. Feels very natural. You got this. Kick, kick, kick. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice. Almost there. Three, two, one, recover. All right, you guys, we are gonna grab our dumbbells. After this recovery, we're gonna hit a side lunge right into a single leg deadlift. We're gonna alternate side lunge, single leg deadlift. Three, two, and one, let's go right side. Hit that side lunge, right leg's gonna float back, single leg deadlift. Side lunge, stabilize. Let that foot float back, bring it up. Let's keep it going. 
Now this is a lot of stability, a lot of balance. So let's embrace that. Nice. Good, other side. We're gonna keep it going, tight core. Yes, good. Three, two, one, and you're done. 15 seconds off. Up next, we're gonna go into a half full, half bicep curl. I'm gonna call it out to you when it's ready. For now, just focus on your recovery. It's gonna be over very soon in three, two, one. All right, so bicep halfway up or back down. Bicep all the way up, now halfway down. Back up, release fully. So again, half up, down. All the way up, half down, back up and repeat. I call it half full, half biceps. <sighs> Beautiful. So control this. Make sure your elbows feel good. Nice. Half. Then full, half, back on up. Keep it up, keep it up. We're gonna minimize any rocking in our body. We're gonna try to focus this purely in the bicep, y'all. Three, two, one, and you're done. Putting those weights down. Up next, we have a 45 second jumping jack. Self-explanatory, so recover. It's gonna be over in a blink of an eye. Then we're gonna get into it. We're almost there, you guys. Three, two, one, let's hit it. <sighs> kind of like the warm up. We're back to that jumping jack, something familiar, something that you know you're good at. We love it. If jumping's not your thing, I right, let's do tap outs. We're good with that. The point here is just to keep moving, just to feel strong, sweat, get a workout, you know? All right, we're going back into it. Nice job, you guys. We are super close to the end. We have three more circuits here, and then we out. So you're, you're really doing great. Keep it up, don't stop now. Three, two, and done. All right, you guys, up next, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge, kick. We're gonna alternate right and left, and the weights are just gonna be at our sides. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, let's do it. So, reverse, up, kick. And now left, down, up, kick. Keep it out, keep it up. The kick is adding the extra balance component making it a little bit more dynamic. But if that kick is unstable, or doesn't feel right for you, kick the kick, you don't need it. <sighs> Reverse lunges is more than enough. Nice job, you guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Pow! <laughs> nice. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> nice. Good. Last one, three, two, one, recover. All right, 15 seconds and we're going into a Arnold press followed by a shoulder press. So out and up, regular, and back in. Deep breath. Load it up, three, two, one, here we go. So you're pressing it out, standard. Pull it right back in. So it's a slight rotation in there. It's a two for one. I love me a two for one, let's go. Pull it in. Keep those ribs engaged, pulled in, so they're not flared. Protecting our low backs here, using that core. Very good. At your own pace, whatever feels good. If it gets to be overwhelming, give your shoulders a break, then get back into it. Good. Nice. Keep it up, keep it up. Three. Two, one, and rest. All right, bring these guys down. You're gonna be doing a crisscross tap down. For 45 seconds up next, it's a miniature squat in there, guys. So keep those hips flat, let's keep that back flat, those hips low, in three, two, one, let's do it. So crisscross, drop it down. Crisscross, drop it down. Nice. And again, we're not folding, we are dropping. Yes. Good. After this, 
just two more three-part series, and then the cool down. We're so close. Nice work. It's continuous here. The hopping is too much. Crisscross, down. Crisscross, down. One more time. Crisscross. Nice. Three, two, done. Good job. All right, we're gonna grab our dumbbells for a good morning. We're gonna load the weights on our shoulders. A good morning is just a hip hinge, like a deadlift, but the weight is up here. So, load the shoulders, get it ready. Three, two, one, let's do it. So you're hinging and you're up. So, drive those hips back, up and squeeze. Nice. Now you guys, this can be shoulder weighted, this can be back weighted. Whatever feels like a controllable positioning is what we're looking for. Control. Nice. Making sure that core is engaged and that low back is turned off. Nice. A mini band would be great for this one too if you have one laying around. Very good, you guys. Look from nearing the end. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and rest. Nice job. Okay, so up next, we have got a tri uh, alternating rows. So we're gonna grab our weights, get it ready, hinge it back, three, two, one. Here we go. Right, left, right, left, right. <sighs> Wider stance is a greater stability wider uh, base of support. So widen that stance if you feel like you need it. I'm just gonna keep repping it out. Right, left, good. Right, left, keep it up. Nice. Right, left, alternating. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead and put those weights down. Up next, we have a cardio hit. We are gonna go into some skaters. So hit, out, hit, out, hit, repeat. Three, two, one, let's do it. Here, here, out, down. And my foot's just reaching back, planting that toe, tapping it, and just going side to side. Arms out for stability if you'd like it. Very good. Keep it up. Yes, nice job, you guys. Almost there. We have one more three part series. Then the cool down. You're almost there. Finish it out. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's go. Nice. Three, two, and done. Okay, we're gonna grab our dumbbells for the final series. We are starting out with weight on the shoulders. We're gonna go into a narrow squat, wider, back to narrow, back to wider. Three, two, one, let's start it. So you're narrow, open it up, wider, back in. Narrow and wider, back it in. Good, for the weights on your shoulders, Keep those elbows dialed up. Narrow squat, wide squat. Here we go, narrow. Up, wide, back in. I know, it's tough, this is the end, this is the end. You got this. You're almost there. Upper body, I said, is next. Last upper body, come on. Here we go, three, two, one, done. All right, you guys, up next we have alternating windmill presses. So, water, towel, deep breath. Grab your weights, up on the shoulders. Here we go, so you're pressing up. As it comes down, the other one comes up. So, like a seesaw here. Keep it up. Last upper body, good. Control the weights. Keep that space between your neck and your ear. 
Bicep by ear, maintain that space. Nice, you guys. You're so close to the finisher. Don't stop now. Almost there. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Hit a recovery. We have one more cardio hit. It's gonna be a swoop, 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 swoop. We have 45 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one. Let's go. Up, up, out, out. Yes, up, up. Keep it up, out, good. This is the final thing. Final thing we have to do today besides the cool down. So, finish it strong. I hope you have sweat in your eyes, but not like blinding you, of course. Just a good work. Nice. Keep it up. Good. Up, up, out, out. And with each little swoop, it's a little core. Yeah. Good. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right, you guys, we have done the workout. We have made it to the, the cool down portion. Good job, you guys. Let's go ahead, take a moment, take a deep breath in. Really think about filling up your core here, expanding through the stomach, and then release. The full warm across. Good job, you guys. That was not an easy workout, 45 seconds on. With a 15 second recovery, it's a three to one work to rest ratio. That's pretty tough. So I guess that makes you guys all athletes. Nice job. Nice. And as you just do the stretches, really think about just inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Nice deep breaths. Calm down that central nervous system. Lower that heart rate bit. Go ahead, switch that arm if you haven't already. Nice. Deep breath right through here. Nice, now we're gonna take our hands behind our back, interlace those fingers, flip it and pull it away. You're gonna open up that chest through here. <sighs> open up that chest and if you feel daring, a little hinge, it'll get you deeper into that stretch. Bring it on in and then release it from here. Grab that foot, let's do a quad stretch. Hang out here for just a few seconds, enjoy. Got a little dirt on my pants, no big deal. <laughs> nice work. All right, now, switch it up. Try the stability trick. Nice. So I push my hip on the side I'm pulling on. Forward, it lengthens that quad a bit more so you can get deeper into that stretch. Now let's go wide stance. I'm gonna have you shift your weight into one of your heels like a side lunge and then I hang out here and open up that hamstring, that hip flexor and groin. Deep stretch through here. Nice. All right, you guys, really breathe into it. And we're switching to the other side. So loading that heel, letting those hips drop, focusing on that hip flexor, uh, groin on the opposing side. Very nice. Now, let's strain those legs out. We're gonna now reach down toward our our uh, shoes, get a little stretch through here. And if you want to reach overhead, give it a little lat stretch too. Nice, hang out here for a few seconds. Internally rotate, focus on that hamstring now. Couple deep breaths, centered. Hang out here for a few seconds, you can just pull a little hug. And then make your way to your other side. So now overhead reach it, get that lat stretch and breathe. All right, you guys, now a little bit of hamstring and meet me in the center. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this 30 minute strength cardio workout. Again, my name is Eternity Farrell and I will see you next time.